Good morning, Camwood Discord community. Yep. We're here to talk about a few things. Uh, this video is in response to one specific uh, member of the Discord chat in regards to their son, but it's a point that I, I kind of wanted to put it in here that everybody needs to pay attention to. Yeah. Um, once we get to these full swings, especially for young kids, it's very easy for them to try to max themselves out, swinging at a 10 out of 10, trying to produce so much power yes. off this ball that sits still. Um, and a lot of times, it's not that their mechanics are bad, but because they're amped up so much and they're just focused on power, mm -hmm. things kind of get out of, out of line. Yeah. Um, go ahead, Brian, if you got some points to mention right there. Well, I mean, it's just like, uh, if you have somebody working at 70% mm -hmm. with really good mechanics and all 70% of that is going into the ball, and then you have somebody that's going 10 for 10 mm -hmm. and only getting about 50% because their mechanics are yeah. breaking down. 50% going yeah. here, 50% yeah. going there. You're getting people, you're getting the loss of power even though I'm trying to produce more. Right. So you got to make sure that our mechanics are not breaking down when we try to get to that 10 out of 10. That's right. That's gotta, right. Yeah, kind of back off a little bit so our mechanics mechanic can stay consistent. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I'm going to let Brian take a few swings here and I'm going to kind of point out um, some things that I mentioned that I was seeing uh, with this one player. His swing, again, is not bad. Nothing is really wrong with it. We just gotta make sure we pay attention to a few things. The first thing I'm gonna point out is how Brian loads here. So when he loads, you notice that his upper body really doesn't move at all. This has to stay put. His line has to stay put. If we get to this position, it's causing our body to turn. It's causing our line to start going out towards second base or towards the shortstop if you're a left-handed hitter. So we want to really make sure that we feel that load nice and small, in a sense, right in that hip, right into that knee. Once he gets his front foot down, you can still see that all of his weight is behind his front leg. He's not allowing any of his weight to leak back this way because he's trying to get his hands, his knee, his hip, his hands driven inside of that ball. If his weight starts to go forward, now he's only got one thing that can drive inside and it can only go down through the ball. Can't really get much consistent contact with that. So take a swing or two, Brian, and let's, let's kind of see how this works with that lower half, that load, and that stiff front side. Notice if I lay this back down right here in between his legs, when he makes contact, or when he starts his swing, his knee fires, his hip fires, and his hands, his head is gonna stay right on top of that rock. You're not gonna see his head leak way out here. You're not gonna see his head turn sideways. He's not trying to put too much force into this. We're trying to produce speed. If you create speed against the stiff front side, you're gonna get force into the ball. The ball. Good ball. Lost a little bounce right there. Yeah. Try to go too far. Overdrive. Good ball. Good ball. Notice how every time he finishes, obviously not the last one, but he drove a little far. Every time he finishes his swing, he's standing boom, right in the same spot. He's able to hold his balance. A lot of times kids are swinging so hard and they're oh, yeah. falling to one side or the other to try to maintain their balance. That's a sure telltale sign right off the bat that they're, some, they're doing too much. Mm -hmm. They're not working on stability, getting that knee fired yeah. into a stiff front side, mm -hmm. and letting the hands go past their body. Yeah. Good ball. Good ball. Not bad. I'm going to talk a little bit about his front side right here now. You'll notice once his front hip or front foot hits the ground, his pressure is going to be more in here on the toe, the ball of the foot. We're trying to keep away from getting pressure into the heel. If we get pressure into that front heel, we're going to start falling back. That front hip is going to start opening up too soon. And that's when you're going to see these outside pitches that turn into ground balls up the middle yeah. or line drives through through the hole. Mm -hmm. You may hit them hard, but they're not really going anywhere. Yeah. It's because you're leaking. Mm -hmm. You're going away from the ball. Yeah. Your hands aren't being allowed to go through. They're being taken away. Yep. So watch this front side here. we got to make sure that that front side gets locked in and we're firing against it. Good. Oh. Right. 
My bat. <laughs> Throw that bat out of the way. <laughs> Y'all got the idea. Yeah. Now I'm gonna kinda go talking about his hands. Good. Because his lower half's working properly, he's loading well, he's having a stiff front side, he's able to get his hands past his body. Sometimes kids will do the lower half stuff well, but then they get to the, the swing and they start doing this. Yeah. They start pulling their body out instead of driving those hands past the ball. This is where kids have to kind of feel that two-hand drill working into the swing. We want to feel that path, getting those hands past our body before we end up rotating. And if they're having trouble feeling it, sometimes it's good to just take a step back and rip a piece. Do a two-hander. Just to get that feeling back, that connection. Go through it. Do one more. Fast. Good. Now I'm going to my full swing. Nice. That's what I want to feel. Feel that release. Nice. That's what I like. That's what I like. Okay, so basically, I mean, that's a broad, it's a broad video, mm -hmm. but we're kind of talking through the full swing. Yeah. Um, a lot of this, to me, is kids needing to understand the process of what we're trying to do. Mm -hmm. When folks say take a full swing, we're not just up here trying to crank one. Oh, yeah. We're trying to put all those drills that we've done, the one-hander, the two-hander, the weight shift, and that pipe drill mm -hmm. into action. Yeah. Something that stays the same through all of that is that stiff front side. Mm -hmm. You can't produce that knee drive, that hip fire, or that hand drive getting past my body if your front side's here, here, my shoulders are pulling off. Yeah. So make sure that you pay attention to those issues. I hope this video really helps kind of explain the response that I left yesterday. So again, if you have any other questions, comment below, um, text the hotline, and we look forward to talking with you soon.